Hello, my name's Bert Hart. I come from the team here at Equip2. Uh, we specialise in mobile screening crushing equipment. Today we're showcasing the Keystrack S3 stacker conveyor. So this is the 18 metre stacker. Uh, we also do the S5, which is a 23 metre stacker. Uh, where would you see one of these in the industry? Typically we sell a lot of these into quarries, um, guys doing biomass, compost, etc. Um, they're a great tool, they add a lot of value to operations. We've seen a, an excellent um, feedback from our clients that have implemented these machines. As in a cost per tonne, these roughly work out to be about 14 cents per tonne compared to a loader which is around about 45 cents per tonne. I always say one thing these stackers don't give us is any HR issues, um, so yeah, they look up themselves which is great. Um, they get used in a lot of applications where you can have a crusher running into it, it can be continuously running and building a decent surge pile so you're not reliant on that loader coming away, taken away from your crushing plant, um, meaning that that factory, we call the crusher the factory, can keep running without any stoppages. So what we've got here is the engine cover. We've got a cowling which just protects our engine here from any crap that can fall from the belt onto the plant. Here's our um, the control panel, nice and simple to use. Push button stuff, activate the hydraulics and this is all our functions here to unfold the plant. And our tracking device being on umbilical. We can also do these in a remote control which gives you a bit more capability on stopping and starting the plant from your loader or your excavator. Typically, as we see in all keystrake machines, the fuel tank is made of stainless steel. So that gives us capabilities to be able to use uh, biofuels or other fuels and won't be contaminated by rust. Th this machine's running a small little Deutz engine, great on fuel. We typically see about three to four litres an hour on fuel on these plants, so making it very, very cheap to run. It's a run on of the smell of an oily rag, essentially. So in terms of servicing these machines, everything is nice and easy for access. So trying to make it a lot better for our service technicians and anyone that has to work on these pieces of plant. So you can see here we've got the air filter um, and then our engine filters just in through here and our batteries just in the front of us here as well. So this is a, a fully diesel driven plant. We also do an option that's electric drive as well. So if we have an engine um, sorry, a power source on site that can be plugged into the grid or we've got a machine like an R6E or an H4E. Um, we can plug this machine into that power source of that, that crushing plant. So it's all about um, lowering that cost per tonne, getting more efficient in our fuels. Even said that, with these machines, this is running a, um, a low tense pump, pumping them. <clears throat> and so what that means is that's um, using the energy that's required. They're about 25% more fuel efficient than the likes of a gear pump. Also, with the typical keystroke machines running a lot of steel hydraulic lines, the advantage of this is it dissipates the heat better than the standard um, rubber hosing. And also gives us a longer life to um, our hydraulic motors. So if we're not heating up that oil, it protects the seals in our hydraulic motors. So moving through now to the hopper section, this is our feed boot. Um, we can put extra hopper extensions on this unit, which this one's looking to get um, put on. We've got a counterweight, which just gives us a, a balance of the conveyor. So um, last thing you want to happen is a surge of material going up and then tipping our conveyor over and our features of emergency stops. So this machine here is kitted out with four emergency stops. So Keystrake's design of the stack is probably a little bit different compared to other manufacturers. We're running a, a steel which is a Domex steel. Now the reasoning that they run a Domex steel, it's getting our weight down for transportation, but lifting our strength up. Um, we have a lot of people thinking that it's very lightweight, but the difference between a Domex steel and a standard, let's say a Biz 300 or 350, we're getting about four times the strength out of that piece of steel. And you can see it's got its um, centre fold in here, which gives us a bit more rigidity. The belt on the S3 is an 800 belt, um, and being the length of 18 metres, the S5 goes up to a metre wide, 
um, which gives us a bit more capability in tonnes. So the S3 we typically see up to about 250, 300 tonnes per hour moving on these machines. And the S5 will reach up to 600, 700 tonnes per hour. The other thing that we run on the, on the stack is, is an impact bed. So what that does is that just reduces the risk of any damage to your belt. So any material that's getting flown off a crusher onto here, the shock is taken out on the impact bed. So rather than running rollers, that just get a hiding, it beats the bearings to death. Um, Keystrax invested more in running an impact bed to give it longevity and protecting your belt. So at the end of the day, all of these things put together um, really adds to your bottom line being profit per tonne. And that's what we're about here at Equip2, is adding to your profitability and your financial performance through reducing your risk.